It sounds like those holistics people have set up camp in the Wanderoff County Park. I've heard that they're attempting to monitor how people feel with something called a wellness index. I know nothing could bum me out faster than the term wellness index. Get away from my feelings, you animals. tackle what is to many of you an unsurmountable grammatical stumbling block. The difference between who and whom. It's really rather simple. The latter ends with an M, the former does not.
Looking for a fun day out for all the family? I guess. Come to Grockle Bay Zoo and see stunt monkeys, uh. whale pigs, Whoa! and Venusian tigers. What? Grockle Bay Zoo. Almost no visitor fatalities for two and a half weeks. 24 hours a day. This is two, two, two Point Radio. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> It has perhaps escaped the attention of most, but Two Point County features a true marvel of modern engineering, the Pointy Mountain Bridge. If you enjoy crossing things, you simply must experience it for yourself. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let it never be said that I, Sir Nigel, am merely some city-bound dilettante incapable of roughing it in the wilderness. Why, only the other day my chauffeur took a wrong turn and we ended up on the edges of Tumblewood. I escaped unharmed from this bracing encounter and rather enjoyed the colour of the trees. So there. It's the Harrison Wolf Show on Two Point Radio now. But don't worry, I'm just here to change the music every few minutes.
like holistics have a new product on the market an asparagus scented candle that is guaranteed to enhance your afternoon napping holistics usual customers also known as the less sense than money brigade are already lining up to buy some
to you by Aunt Change Plus. Well, hello. Replace your aunt with a cleaner, more generous aunt. Ah. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. you're wondering is this all there is do you go to school you get a job you pay your taxes watch tv sleep every night well that's not all there is there's music and music makes it all worthwhile if you don't believe me listen to this
now but he sounded suspicious so i hung up which means this week's big prize is still up for grabs so why not try your luck and you could be the winner of a year's supply of lint end of year approaching Ever called one of Bungle Meditech's health hotlines? The voice on the other end is a sophisticated AI that tells you everything you're doing wrong with your lifestyle. The weird thing is, it sounds just like my mother. Training course completed.
Author and ambassador for the Bigfoot Foundation, Bartholomew F. Yeti is coming to talk at an artsy location near you for the 20th anniversary tour of his seminal work, Big Feet, Big Shoes. Critics call it urgent, confusing, and a nice color. Blink and you'll miss him. Buy your tickets now. This is Two Point Radio.
Has anyone actually read the ingredients list for Briny Brittle? It just says salt, 84%. Other ingredients, 16%. Thinking of sending some samples to the lab to find out what those are. You don't need a lab to know what's coming up next. More great tunes.
I've DJed at over 20 stations all over the world. Even DJed in one of those cities under the sea they don't want you to know about. But this one still has the weirdest smell. Patients for injection room arriving. to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. It's time to turn your radio throne upside down. That's right, Ricky Hawthorne's here to chase away the clouds. First, a lively little song to kick things off.
please be a joy to treat. Remember everyone, it's quiz night at the Oily Cormorant down in Hogsport. I'll be there with my team getting every question wrong and having a jolly good time of it.
This advertisement has been removed due to a dispute between Two Point Radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh wait, hang on, it shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Can we do another, can we do another take? Okay, great. This is Two Point Radio.
Now for some news. Lecturers at the local teaching hospital have gone on strike after all the books in its medical library were sold at auction. Let's hope our future doctors have already learned everything they need to know. Into Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio.
In today's Gossip Roundup, Mrs. Eggshock is still wearing that leg cast we all know is a fake. The squatters in number 19 Mud Street have put up new curtains, and a new species of venomous spider is poised to infest our homes this summer. More gossip next time. After the Daily Sneer revealed the shockingly low wages Jumbo pays most of its employees, the company has launched an internal investigation into the matter. It says it hopes it'll soon be able to pay no wages at all, which is one way of dealing with the problem, I suppose.
Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Other DJs, some of them on this very station, believe it or not, can be, well, a tad grumpy to be perfectly...
John Hinges has taken our nice words of the day idea a little bit too literally, I believe. His suggestions were sponge, curvature, and plonk. Well, those are very nice words, John, so I'll let that stand.
Striving for Pharmacy. This is Two Point Radio, and I am Nigel Bickleworth, at your service. And so we begin another of our shows with a little something I like to call music.
Is there any more hideous space in all this county than the Meltdowns? Nothing but a toxic wasteland. Why, when I was a lad, it was merely a wasteland. <laughs> That's progress for you. After four rudderless years, Two Point County has never been in greater need of strong leadership. So vote for four more years of Tabitha Winsock in the mayoral elections. Tabitha Winsock, wrong but stable. Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio.
Guide to good manners, we shall discuss the making of telephone calls, particularly ones made to radio stations. Firstly, do not shout. Speak in a calm, clear voice, preferably in a voice you would deem too posh for everyday conversation. State your name and be polite at all times. Also, do not call me names and then quickly hang up. That is the height of rudeness. Radio. I'm sure you will agree that was an extraordinary piece of music. A wonderful example of non-diatonic counterpoint. Stay tuned for more groundbreaking compositions. It's 
And now, Sir Nigel reviews. This time, looking at the new bakery in Crockenbush, Do Re Mi. It has a breathtaking selection of musically inspired pastries, such as the strumming strudel and the cacophonous cake. I award it four malacarons. Ha! Patients with animal magnetism are on the way.
They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, A Stretch Too Far. This is Two Point Radio. I visited a sick friend who has taken the foolish decision to check himself into one of Holistic's nature communes. Call me old-fashioned, but patients are supposed to be treated by doctors in hospitals, not have leaves rubbed on them by druids.
Inspector, now arriving at the hospital. Today, I would like to introduce a new segment which I call Two Points of View. In it, I will give you two rather different points of view on a contentious subject. So, for example, view A could be, this is a rather fine idea for a segment, whereas view B would then be, this segment is an embarrassing waste of time. Stay tuned for more of these controversial debates next week. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're about to enter the Wolf Zone, where we speak truth to power and sometimes kick it in the shins.
I'm Harrison Wolf, and this is Two Point Radio. Training course complete. Class dismissed. After some deep research and investigative work, I found out that Holistics was born from a small company called Whole Lot of Sticks. Yeah, that's right. It sold sticks. Not wildly successful as you can imagine. Then one day, some sticks fell in a cup of hot water and they sold it as a miracle tea. The rest, as the fella says, is history. Now 
advancement, automated snack machines need restocking manually. Charlatine Fish Rapper at the Two Point Squabbler and Two Point Squabbler Online for great stories and perspective from a human just like you. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Thank you. 